<laughs> You're all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, good, <laughs> good morning, Warrior Nation. Welcome to another outstanding, wonderful day today. Uh, today is Tuesday, May the 16th. Uh, we have a number of announcements for today, and this hat won't stay, so I'll put it right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get it kicked off with our superstars. Just a reminder for drama officers that today we're doing paper plate awards after school in Willems' room, I think. I don't really know, but yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, yearbooks are in. Uh, so after you enjoy the food fair today, tomorrow those of you who pre-ordered can pick yours up during both lunches. Looking like it's probably gonna be the gym foyer. I think it's supposed to rain. Uh, so if it's nice outside, we'll be out there in the courtyard. Otherwise, gym foyer if you pre-ordered. If you want one of these beautiful yearbooks, we have a limited number of extras. They will be available first come, first serve, after school in room W250. That's the journalism lab up next to Mr. Hart's room in the second floor science wing. We will also have the 2015 yearbook, some extras for sale for only 20 bucks. So if you want something a little more cost effective and want to have a book for people to sign, those will be available at the uh, lunchtime distribution. So all your yearbook questions, uh, it'll happen tomorrow. You can uh, shoot me an email, kphillips at cr.allthatbiz, uh, or come find me if you have questions. Otherwise, all the yearbook stuff's going down tomorrow. Enjoy the food fair today. Food fair? I think I'll go. Hi, uh, just a couple of things. Um, just another item that is in the Joker treasure box. Get those stories turned in. Also, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to Icon, number 42. It's coming up in September. If you want to know anything else, either ask me or try and look it up on the internet. Have a good day at Food Fair. Uh, we got clubs, club, club on Thursday, so make sure you come. Even if you didn't go to any clubs, club during the year, this is the last one, like ever, for this year. Maybe next year, I don't know. I don't know but clubs, club, club Thursday, we'll have shirts soon. Okay. All right. Uh, so a couple of things about food fair and cultural conversations. Cultural conversations today. Uh, when we get into fifth period, students, uh, your teachers uh, will direct you to which uh, food fair lunch you should go to. Uh, you go to the same lunch period you normally go to. So if you have a first lunch at fifth period every day, then you go. To, that's the one you go to. Same thing for second lunch. Uh, food fair out, will be out in the uh, courtyard. Uh, teachers, uh, you, as per the email yesterday and all of last week, we know we have 20 extra minutes during fifth period today to accommodate for the food fair. With that extra 20 minutes, uh, you have several options to have some conversations around culture. Uh, you received an email yesterday with three different links to three different videos. Uh, there's one that's about 40 minutes long. Uh, there's one which you probably won't be able to see the entire 20 minutes unless you altered your fifth period class to do that. Uh, and then there's two other ones that are about five or six minutes apiece, which gives you time for some conversations about them. Uh, so it's at your discretion, your option, how you want to use that, but we do encourage everyone to have some kind of conversation during fifth period today around just the broader concepts of culture and diversity and what that means to us and how we uh, how we use that as an advantage uh, for us here at Washington and just being American citizens. So we look forward to that conversation today and we hope everyone has a great, have a great food fair today and try different uh, foods from different types of places around the world and have some conversation about what that means to people in those conversations. A couple of announcements real quick, Pro Start students, uh, last chance for an internship at Reinhardt. So please see Ms. Steckle today if you are interested in that internship. So that's all for our Pro Star students. The JV1 girls team remained unbeaten, unbeaten rather, on a hot Monday afternoon by defeating Prairie 7-2, improving their record to 9-0 on the season. Winning in singles were Lindsey DeWolf, Ren Grubo, Mary Weston, Holland Van Meter, and Merrick McBride. Winning in doubles were the teams of DeWolf and Grubo and uh, Van Meter and McBride. They have two more meets on the season, including this afternoon against Iowa City West. Please come out and support our girls. The Warriors varsity women's golf team had its best performance of the season yesterday, placing third out of seven teams at the third round of the Mississippi Valley Conference Valley, Mississippi, Mississippi Valley Conference Valley Division Tournament. The Warriors shot a season best 385 and defeated both Kennedy and Prairie. Washington ended uh, fifth in the division after three rounds. Senior Devin O'Donnell led the uh, Warriors with 92 and a season best for the Warriors. 
She tied for ninth out of 42 golfers. That's pretty good, Devin. Uh, junior Maddie Baird posted a 95, and sophomore Brittany Postma shot a 96, and Grace Crossing, who's a senior, shot a 102. Brittany Postma earned second team all-conference honors. Maddie Baird and Devin O'Donnell made a honorable mention all-conference, and the Warriors evened their season record at 29-29. and 29. Remember, students, that study table is happening Monday through Thursday of this week after school. And if you have not received a ticket for, uh, if you're a free and reduced lunch student, or student who received free and reduced lunch, if you, if you have not received your ticket yet, please stop by and see Ms. Jane to do that before heading to the food fair today. Remember, seniors, that all items must be turned to the uh, library if you have them by this Friday, May 19th, and get all your fines and everything's taken care of right now. If you have not picked up a graduation item, seniors, please pick it up uh, from Miss, uh, uh, from the activities office window downstairs from Mrs. Carter. And be reminded about your CPR training, which starts today and, and it ends tomorrow. You have to print off your certificate from the Canvas class, bring it with you to the training, and that will be, uh, we'll mark that requirement off for you. Students who are doing MVP, uh, there will be a meeting tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday, May 17th, during Warrior Time. Uh, so please come down to the Little Theater. Uh, you'll be discussing your plans of working with incoming McKinley students on next year. Uh, we have a lot of events going on today. We talked about tennis already, but we also have our soccer matches, JV and varsity, and tonight is our senior night at, at Kingston Stadium tonight for soccer. Uh, so, our, uh, so please come out and support those activities. We also have our boys' sophomore match happening today at Kingston as well. And then also tonight is our band banquet. Uh, it's happening today in the cafeteria at 6 p.m. Happy birthday shots out today to Luke Jonathan, Sam McDermott, Emma Proston, uh, Catherine Schrader, and Caitlin Stastny. Uh, happy birthday to you guys today. Uh, so we look forward to a great day today. We hope you really enjoy the food fair and really dig well into those cultural conversations. I, I encourage everyone to have those tough and honest conversations with each other so we can get better as a people and understand what it means to have really have a diverse uh, building of a lot of different peoples and cultures in one setting. Uh, that's all we have for today. Continue loving and supporting each other every day. And remember, it's always a great day to be a warrior.